Hello guys, welcome to Syracuse. Um, we just got off the train, we're walking to the, the B&B we're staying in tonight. This is us about to cross the bridge into Ortigia, which is the island part of Syracuse. But nice bit in other words. Oh, that was pretty nice walking around. But... Alright, that's us checked in now, so we're going for a wander around Ortigia. Place. Lots of nice Latin narrow streets. It's happened upon a Toby market here. I wants to stay here a week now <laughs> after seeing that market. So here we've got some arancini. I've got the meat ragu one and Rick has got the spinach one. This is the Greek temple of Apollo because Syracuse was a big Greek city as well as a, a Roman city as well. Pretty impressive. Oh well, what's this? Our wanderings ended by the square where both the cathedral and the church of Santa Lucia alla Badia were located. Well, I don't know if you can make it out, but that skylight's and it's absolutely teeming it down with rain. Um, so I'm not sure how not sure how much more we're going to get today. But we did make it back out and set off to explore the more harbour and coastal areas of Ortigia.
It was nearly dark by the time we got to the Aratusa fountain, one of only a handful of places in Europe where papyrus grows. We were getting to the point where we were ready to sit down and unwind for the night, so we stopped for a quick drink before finding a place to eat and what turned out to be the best meal of the trip. Good morning from Syracuse. Um, we had a great day yesterday, went about the place, saw everything, well, saw everything in Ortegia at least. This is us outside of Ortegia walking towards the Neopolis area now. Um, you get to see a bit of what the real Syracuse is like outside the touristy bit. Alright, looks like all the kind of ancient remains are all in the same place. And we're just about to walk into it. I know there's an amphitheatre. Something we'll soon see anyway. Both ancient Greek and Roman remains here. After queuing up for about half an hour for tickets, we finally got into the site. Well. Okay, we're in the park for the Neopolis now. Let's uh, let's have a look at it. It's quite nice. This is a Greek theatre. Last one was the Greek theatre, now this is the Roman one. Well, that's a stop for a snack and the way back into Ortigia now from the, the place in Syracuse, the theatre and all that. Um, I'm having a pancake, Nick is having some cannoli thing. Um, so, just going to finish up here, go see the fort, have lunch, and then jump in the train to Catania. <laughs> Our final stop in Syracuse before heading for the train station is the fort, Castello Maniacci, which was built by the Romans in the 13th century.
we are, the Mediterranean Sea. This is at the end of Syracuse now. Time to get our lunch and then to get back to the train station. We went to Syracuse train station and boarded the train to our next destination. We both loved Syracuse though, especially the island of Ortigia. Definitely one to come back to. Next stop, look out as we head further up the coast and head into Sicily's second largest city, Catania. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching our videos, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.